today's tip, we are going to be breaking down a deer carcass. Right, so we've just whipped the skin off the deer and you'll see that I've left the skin attached to the neck there. Um, it's just to stabilise the carcass while we're working on it. There's no real need to cut that skin off because it's just going to get thrown away with the carcass. Now we've been hanging this carcass for about 12 days in the chiller so it's aged the meat nicely and I guess the disadvantage of that is that if you have a look in here it's getting a bit stinky and gross inside the carcass. So the technique we're going to use today is a really fast technique to remove all the good meat and leave all that stinky stuff behind. Just going to go around that grotty area there. And it's going to keep coming up. Like that, just to get rid of that first bit of crap. So now I'm just going to come along the brisket and just open that up. So now I'm just going to go around the hip bone. So there's a hip bone just in here and we're just going to go around that and then come back in. So this is the, the back of the pelvis and there's a wee T sitting here. That's it. You can feel the T bone. And so that's what you're going to come around when you're making this cut. You're coming right around there and then coming down. Now I'm going to go down, down, down. Yep. Down, 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 down. So now I'm just going to clean up the area where the shot, where the shot went. So we'll just take that off. I'm not going to, not going to eat that meat. Just tidy that area a bit. Other side. Just trying to find where that shot finished. Should be about right. Right, so now that I've opened up either side of the spine, I'm just going to find the bottom of the, the hip bone. So here's the, the forward piece of the hip bone. If I can feel that, you can feel that with my fingers, and I'm going to make a cut there. In there. Just cut that across like that. I'm just going to open up the back stake.
is one side of venison. Complete. Next day. So we've avoided taking any of the, of the stuff on the inside of the rib cages, so we've got clean meat without any contamination. Right, so take one leg off. So now I'm just going to open up the joint. So that's the joint there. You can see that ball that socket. Just open that up. And pretty quickly, we'll have this off. Just get my hand through there. Back to the Alright, so I'm just going to pull the pelvis back, go and find that, that knuckle, which is just here. Open that up. Come in here. Open up the knuckle and then head on round. And down here we have a carcass with the skin attached, ready for disposal. So that whole thing can just get taken off to the dead sheep hole. Alright, so that's all the clean meat removed from the carcass. So now we have to head inside and get it onto the chopping board to process this meat up.